These pursuits in Chesterfield County are rising at an alarming rate. One recently ended in a fatal crash in Petersburg. New at six, our Tyler Lane spoke to the family of the woman who died, who are now demanding answers from police. And he goes in depth to break down the numbers behind this trend. Cars honk for nay as they drive past the spot where a makeshift memorial now sits for Denasia Gray. She is the 28-year-old woman who died after a suspect being chased by Chesterfield police crashed into her boyfriend's car on March 15th. I want answers. My family deserves answers. Denasia's sister, Deanna Gray, now questioning whether the police pursuit was necessary in the first place. And it leads to something tragic, something so unnecessary that could have simply been avoided. Police say they tried to stop a stolen car that had guns in it in the area of Iron Bridge Road and Lewis Road around 1015 that night. When the driver, Michael Dawson, did not pull over, officers pursued at high speed. They tried using stop sticks to disable the car and it did damage the tires, but Dawson kept fleeing. The chase continued into Colonial Heights and then into Petersburg, where police say Dawson ran a red light at Washington Street and rammed into another vehicle. Denasia, a passenger, died. Why was it so imperative to, to risk multiple, not just one, not just two, but risk and, 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 and cause my sister to lose her life because y'all wanted to make an arrest for a stolen truck and some guns? It just doesn't make sense to me. Chesterfield police declined an interview, but in a statement they say, we are intentional about balancing the risk to the public, our officers, and even those who flee with what we believe to be the potential harm of not attempting to apprehend those who choose to run from a lawful stop. We are not blind or immune from those risks ourselves, and we often see firsthand the dangers of reckless driving on the streets. This incident is part of a growing statistic in Chesterfield, where police Police pursuits have increased by 197% over the past five years, from 63 in 2018 to 187 in 2022. But surrounding jurisdictions are not seeing a similar trend. Richmond police chases have decreased by 9% in recent years, and RICO police has seen a 0% change, and the Hanover Sheriff's Office saw an increase of just two pursuits in the same time frame. This is not worth it. Dawson was ultimately arrested arrested and now faces multiple felony charges. My message for Mr. Dawson is take the time to think about what you've done. Now we've asked Chesterfield police if this pursuit was initiated and executed according to their policy on vehicle pursuits and they say that it's still under review.